हेलो युअर लिजनिंग कृष्ण पिलू नमस्ते टुडे वी आर् गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन फैक्टर्स एफेक्टिंग एवापरेशन दिस् द सैकेंड पार्ट आफ् एवापरेशन इन टेन्त क्लास एस एस सो वाट आर् द फैक्टर्स एफेक्टिंग एवापरेशन लेट्स एक्सप्लेन नाउ पिलू what's inside factors affecting evaporation this lesson is animated and explained by krishna gurugubelli scps jp high school murupaka srikakulam district so what are the factors affecting evaporation number 1 temperature number 2 surface area number 3 humidity number 4 wind speed these are the factors affecting evaporation so temperature first factor is temperature what are the first factor temperature so the here the very sunshine day this is the first beaker placed under the uh, shiny shiny day and this is the cl uh, cloudy uh, light i mean uh, cloudy shine day i mean this is the some cloudy day so in the both beakers what's happening so here the in the first beaker the this liquid more liquid molecules are evaporating are escaping from the surface of the uh, liquid and then the second one in cloudy day so the less molecules because the temperature is directly proportional to um, its uh, evaporation that means the rate of temp the rate of evaporation is directly proportional to temperature you know temperature is directly proportional to the rate of evaporation it is so because when we increase the temperature of our heating source we supply more energy to the liquid this energy is stored in the form of kinetic energy of the molecule so pillalu with the increase in the temperature the molecules tend to collide and begin to move faster until some of the molecules escape into the atmosphere and so evaporation takes place you know more in temperature if the more temperature is increases what happening the kinetic surface kin molecules so the kinetic energy of surface molecules are increases when the molecules kinetic energy increases what happening they are simply escaping from the surface of uh, uh, liquid and they are giving their energy and they are taking their energy from the neighbor molecules and they are escaping and this is indirectly this is the cooling effect of uh, um heat you know this is the evaporation is the cooling effect okay so this is very very clearly we understood that here more molecules are evap escaping here less molecules are escaping this is the first factor temperature um which is affecting the evaporation okay so next one surface area what is surface area surface area means uh, uh, if the more less let's take two beakers one is lesser lesser diameter and another one is the uh, higher diameter you know this is the lesser first beaker is the lesser diameter and this is the large diameter beaker both beakers we have taken both are placed under the sunshine i mean you know, at to shiny day i mean day time so what happening here the less diameter lesser molecules are escaping from the surface area you know the um, this is the high diameter means so more molecules are escaping from the surface the surface area affects evaporation because if more area is exposed to air allowing water molecules acquire more heat energy from the surroundings due to the increased heat energy i mean kinetic energy of the molecule there is more rapid movement of the water molecules which helps them to overcome the force of attraction and evaporate okay so next one the evaporation is uh, is a surface phenomenon and if surface area increases then the rate of evaporation increases here see pillalu so the lesser surface area means lesser molecules are escaping from the 
mm, liquid surface you know that means the surface area of the liquid is directly proportional to the rate of evaporation this is the second factor okay next one is humidity what's the humidity you know in day to day time day and day and nights we in some of our days are very humid day and some of our very low humid day what is humidity humidity is nothing but uh, uh, humidity is nothing but uh, uh, saturation of atmosphere with water that is water vapor that is molecules of water which are present in the air that is humidity more humid is the more humid is the is the air more water it is contains so with more humidity the water intake capacity of air in decreases that is it gets more saturated so naturally with more humidity the evaporation rate decreases that means the more humid day is uh, there is a lesser uh, evaporation takes place but less humid day means low humid day means low humidity day means higher evaporation higher water evaporation takes place that is uh, that is very this is this is the reason low bit that that uh, day is very clear very clear and uh, very clear day and um, low atmospheric uh, um, humidity in the atmosphere weather though so that means um, uh, this uh, humidity increases evaporation rate decreases if uh, uh, humidity decreases in the air mal in the air um, so immediately the um, evaporation uh, increases so that is the humidity uh, percentage of humidity is inversely proportional to the rate of rate of evaporation okay clear so that is that is where the percentage of humidity is inversely proportional to the rate of evaporation okay pillalu do you understand i think next factor is um next factor is wind speed you know here too we have taken two beakers of same diameter and uh, one is less low speed wind region and another one is the high speed in region here high speed in region means more air blow in this region but here less air is region so less air region means lesser molecules from the surface is escaping but more air rapid air blowing means more particles are uh, escaping from the surface of area this indicates the wind speed is increases the rate of evaporation also increases the wind speed is decreases the rate of evaporation also decreases so pillalu the speed at which air flows over the surface of water affects the rate at which the water evaporates as the wind blows it sweeps away air borne water particles that are in the air the humidity of the air in the region of this evaporation is reduced which allows more water molecules to dissipate dissipate means spread into the air into the air wind wind can also change the evaporation pressure uh, vapor pressure vapor pressure by moving air about rapidly um, thereby causing it expand this process creates room for extra water vapor and evaporation will continue to occur will while the wind is blowing okay pillalu thank you thank you for watching thank you for watching this video uh, so